IP address management is an integrated suite of tools to enable end-to-end -end planning, deploying, managing and monitoring of your IP address infrastructure, with a rich user experience. IPAM automatically discovers IP address infrastructure servers and domain name system DNS, servers on your network and enables you to manage them from a central interface. IPAM discovers domain controllers, DHCP servers, and DNS servers in the domain. Custom IP address space display, reporting, and management. Audit of server configuration changes and tracking of IP address usage. Lab setup of IPAM. Before to configuring IPAM server, first, you need to understand the topology we are going to use. We have two servers named server1.sar.local and server2.sar.local. Both the servers are running on Windows Server 2019. Server2 is the member of sar.local domain and will be configured as IPAM server. How to configure IPAM? Go to client machine. Launch the add roles and features wizard using the server manager tool. Click add roles and feature. Click on Next, select Role-based and Feature-based installation, click on Next, click on Next, click on Next. Select the IP Address Management, IPAM, Server, click Add Feature, click on Next, click Restart the Destination Server automatically if required, click on Yes and click Install. It will take some time to install IPAM feature. After install IPAM feature close all console. Select the IPAM in the left panel and then click. Connect to IPAM server. Select server2.sar.local if not selected. Click on step 2. Provision the IPAM server. Click on next. Select the Windows internal database. Click on next. Select the group policy based, specify a GPO prefix name and proceed to the next. Click on apply. IPAM provisioning completed successfully. Click on close. Click configure server discovery link. Click on add. I did not have a DHCP server that's why I am uncheck the DHCP server. Click on OK. Click the start server discovery link. Discovery may take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Go to Tools. Click on Windows PowerShell ISE. Invoke IPAM GPO provisioning. Domain SAR.local.
GPO prefix name IPAM GPO. IPAM server FQD and server 2.SAR.local Delegated GPO user administrator Press enter Click on Yes. Click on yes. Click on yes. Click on yes. Go to DC. Go to server manager. Go to tools. Click group policy management. I am checking the IPAM group policy create or not. IPAM policy is created. Then go IPAM server. Select Edit Server. Click on Managed. Click on OK. Right click on Server 1 and select Retrieve All Server Data. Right click on Server 1 and select Refresh Server Access Status. Go to Run. Type GP update then press enter. IPAM configure successfully. Now I am checking my IPAM server works properly or not. Click on DNS and DHCP. Right click and select launch MMC. Expand server name. Expand forward lookup zone. Select domain name. Create a new host A. I am create a test host for checking purpose. Click on add host. Click on OK. Click on done. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.